LEGO molded dinos are a mainstay in today's LEGO sets, mostly due to the popularity of the Jurassic World theme, and although LEGO started producing plastic bricks in 1949, it would be decades before the first molded dinos would emerge. Today on Brickified, I will explore the evolution of LEGO dinos over their 20 plus years of existence. And please remember to give a like if you enjoyed the video, but let's get into it. While this video will mostly focus on molded dinos, an interesting start is the first LEGO dino themed set which released in 1994. A very basic build versus what we would expect from LEGO today, but it would be another 3 years before we saw the first ever wave of LEGO molded dinos from the Duplo theme. A ton of Duplo dino themed sets were released in 1997 with your standard sets and various dino themed tubs. Some sets like 9195 even included baby versions of each of the four types of dinos in the set. However, it wouldn't be until the turn of the century that we saw the first ever minifigure scale dino molds in set 5987 Dino Research Compound. This was considered Dino Island, a sub-theme under the LEGO Adventurers theme, which featured Johnny Thunder and his research team's adventures on a mythical dino island. LEGO released a bunch of molds in this set, which featured the classic green T-Rex, a Stegosaurus, a Pterodactyl, and even a small baby T-Rex was included. Later on, the first Triceratops mold was created, and all three of these classic dino molds would receive slight color variation throughout the year's sets. In the same year, LEGO would reuse the classic green T-Rex mold in the first ever LEGO Studio set, 1349 Steven Spielberg's Movie Maker. The studio's theme was LEGO's early attempt to break into movie licensed sets, and the following year LEGO released two Jurassic Park 3 sets under the theme. Releasing a month before the movie, the three main antagonists were included with the Spinosaurus, Velociraptors, and Pteranodons. While the Pteranodon and Raptors were mostly brick built with a few specialty head and tail molds, the Spinosaurus consisted of brand new molds. However, sadly this would remain the only Spinosaurus in LEGO's catalog to date. In 2001, LEGO would release a new theme with the clever title of Dinosaurs. This theme would be short-lived and only consisted of the initial release wave of 8 sets, 4 of which are baby dinosaurs which were mostly brick built with a few specialty molds. The other 4 adult themed dinosaur builds were all new molds and included classic favorites like the Brachiosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. But there was also very unique species, at least for the time, like the Mosasaurus, which wouldn't be featured in an A-list Hollywood movie until 2015's Jurassic World. And lastly, the Styracosaurus, which would become a fan favorite in the Jurassic World Evolution games. Sadly, none of these molds have been included in any other sets since. The rest of the mid-2000s would prove to be a very odd time for our faithful LEGO dinos, with the short introduction of 2005's Dino Attack and Dino 2010 themes. While both of these themes included the same dinos, Dino Attack was available in the US and Dino 2010 saw a limited release in other countries. These new molds were representing mutant dinosaurs that had escaped the laboratories and were attacking the new LEGO city line. This was a revolutionary theme for LEGO because it was something different and a shift in ideology because the Dino Attack sets came with weapons to fight the dinosaurs. But this proved to be too much for some parents and the later Dino 2010 sets were modified to have more of a Dino capture play focus. Overall these were very interesting and oversized molds, some of the largest to date, but suffered staying power in the LEGO lineup. While it would take 7 years to release the next wave of fresh Dino molds, LEGO did release Rex in two different sets for the release of Toy Story 3. Two years later in 2012, LEGO released another original and creative new theme called Dino. While the name of the theme wasn't very creative, the new dinos certainly were. This theme was sort of an evolution of the early 2000 adventurer sets, this time including Josh Thunder instead of Johnny Thunder, and saw a similar play focus of capturing escaped dinos in a tropical setting. Fans of the current Jurassic World theme may be surprised to see that all the current versions of T-Rexes, Triceratops, Pteranodons, and Velociraptors were all originally released under this theme. Interestingly, LEGO molded a fifth dino in this series being a Salophysis, which was later re-released as a Gallimimus in a 2015 Jurassic World polybag. This was an obvious inaccuracy, but not the first time that LEGO has reused previous molds for new creatures. In 2015, LEGO received the rights to produce sets under the Jurassic World branding and had sets on the shelf a month before the movie's premiere. This new wave of sets brought in fan desire molds like the Dilophosaurus, which was not present in the movie but was surely on every Jurassic Park fan's bucket list. 
And of course it also included the movie's main antagonist, the Indominus Rex, which received new molds. Unfortunately, fans had to wait another three years for a next wave of sets which came out with the promotion of 2018's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. In this new wave, we saw four fresh new dino molds like the baby Velociraptors to resemble Baby Blue in the movie, the movie's main antagonist, the Endoraptor, and two other fan requested models for the Stiggy Moloch and the Carnotaurus. Other dinos were included as recolored variants, like a more accurate JP-1 color Dilophosaurus and Velociraptor, as well as two different T-Rex color variants. The theme would continue in 2019 with the recolor of a Triceratops, a first for the Jurassic World theme, and a new Baryonyx mold which was previously featured in 2015's Jurassic World. This year also saw the release of two creative brick-built dinos with the direct-to-consumer Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage and a T-Rex Mech which was featured in a classic 1993 Ford Explorer color scheme. This year would also see the reuse of the Velociraptor mold, this time in a dark blue color scheme for a LEGO Movie 2 set. Next year's 2020 Jurassic World Wave saw the addition of two new baby dinosaur molds of a Triceratops and an Ankylosaurus. This was followed by a new mold for an adult Ankylosaur in the same year, and a slight recolor and reprint of 2015's Indominus Rex. And lastly, LEGO redeemed their 2015 polybag blunder with a new mold for a Gallimimus, which received a fan favorite classic Jurassic Park color scheme. 2021 only saw recolors of previous release molds, but in 2022, five new molds were developed in correspondence with the release of Jurassic World Dominion. Included was the Atrociraptor, which came in two different color variations, a Pyroraptor and a Quetzalcoatlus, which both had limited screen time in the movie, and two larger molds for the Giganotosaurus and the Therizinosaurus. And finally, in 2023, LEGO released a new mold for the Brachiosaurus for the 30th year anniversary of Jurassic Park. While there is a plethora of dinosaur molds out there, there's still a number of notable fan favorite species missing from the Jurassic World theme. Just some of these include an updated JP3 mold for a Spinosaurus, a JP3 style Velociraptor with head feathers, an updated Mosasaurus, a new Stegosaurus mold which hasn't been updated since the original 2001 Dino Island version, and a first time mold of a Parasolophus, in addition to many others. Comment down below your favorite LEGO dino and which species you would like LEGO to make next. And make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the content and subscribe for more LEGO videos.